Hello there, World of YouTube. It's me, Swimster Gale, and what, 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 I don't know what that is, but yes, I am coming to you guys with the video. I might need to zoom out a bit, like there. Um, we're gonna be organizing these color pencils, these watercolor pencils I recently bought, and my Stettler, don't know, pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, pens into a pencil case quote unquote this is a 168 slot one as you can see that has one two three a total of four um zipper compartments i got mine in the color lavender i do believe that they have other color selections i believe they're gray uh baby blue black and then it's this lavender one um, and i believe they have a brown one too but I'm, don't quote me on that but yes they all come with like little slots where you just put in your pencils i do and then going in i'm gonna probably zoom out a wee bit more for you guys and then we're gonna go here and in this compartment you have something where i guess you can put like either your bigger pens right here or in this case i'm gonna try to see if i can fit um a sharpener that my mom gave me so we're gonna see how this works out and I'm just gonna um, fast forward through all the organization part of it because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see 30 minutes of me sorting through colored pencils now the reason I am transferring both the Statler pens and these mainly is because whenever I am working on anything and I'm trying to like go in and put colors back as you can see, like some blues are here, some blues are over here. Like, it's not completely organized. And I don't know about you guys, but I would like to be able to find like my the color family a lot faster than having to go through them. Like right there, there's a dark blue one, there's a blue one right there, more blues right here, so on and so forth. And then I can kind of get rid of the box and then have everything in one place. Same thing goes for these pens they're not really named they don't have any colors they don't even have any numbers to them so I mean they're kind of a little bit harder to identify I guess you can say or like let's say I were to put this one over here by accident um, in my bullet journal I do have these all swatched but I did them in the order that I bought them in but then unorganized me has just like kind of swapped some of these around and sometimes it can be slightly difficult or more time consuming than I would like it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and place them all in there, which will make them easier to put back. And then place and take out because most of the time I just look for an empty slot and then it goes in there. And then eventually I'll try to reorganize them. But then I might have put this blue where this blue goes, etc, etc. So let's get started. So it's not completely perfect, like it's not like a beautiful, perfect gradient, but I think for the use that I have, it does kind of go into like the sections nicely. So I know you guys can't see it on this side, but I have some of most of the purples. Then we go into the blues. We have some blue greens, dark green. We go into the lighter green to kind of go into the yellows. And then from the yellows, we go kind of into like the peachiers, like the peachy browns and stuff. Going into the dark browns. These are like, mm, I guess I couldn't really find somewhere to put this one. Maybe I could put it over. Yes, not really, because it's like, I don't know. Then right here, I don't know. I'll probably put that right. Look, yeah, that's better right there. Uh, yeah, so then we go into these. We get into the darker, almost black and browns. 
Um, again, we have some of the lighter peachier shades here, some of the gray tones. Um, here at the bottom, I guess we have like little, I would say blush colors, mauves, um, some reds, our pinks, and then we go into our oranges. And that is that color scheme. So right now we're gonna just go ahead and put that into the case. I just had to decide if I'm gonna start from right here or start from right here and then move my way backwards type of thing. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes right now. Because I laid them all out onto my table. And now I gotta lay them all into there. But I don't have anywhere to lay my um my case for you guys to see. So what I'm probably gonna do is just put some of these off put some of these on off camera and then I'll show you guys me putting some on on camera. Still slightly out of frame but the more I get completed the more I will push it to this side for you guys to have a better view. We're gonna go into the yellow now. I'll show you guys the finished product of the Crayola placement once I am done. So we're gonna go back into fast forwarding mode. these ones I'm actually having a little bit more of a difficult time getting them in here there it goes it's a super snug fit as you can see like there's pretty much no movement and seeing that it automatically is laying it down on the flat side that it's laying on laying it down flat it is kind of like somewhat triangular shaped over here I'm gonna go ahead and alternate them because the caps will tap against each other So this particular pack of um, Shatler pens actually came with 36. Um, I was actually able to fit all the last 36 into the last one. I still have like a pretty large component here. I may end up putting my Apple Pencil in there just because I have it laying around and let's, we all know that that was not cheap so I'm going to try to take care of it. But um, yeah, the moment of truth right now is going to be um, putting this stapler, I mean not the stapler, uh, sharpener into here and see if it works so for anybody wondering it is a dual ended sharpener it's like by Avon my mom got it for me oh, is it gonna fit no it would be like a really big struggle to get it to get in there all right it does not fit nor do I think it would close with it in there yeah yeah your best bet would have it to be to have a, a flat sharpener in there um I'll just go ahead and put this right here on my desk. So we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick flip through. So again, we have my Crayolas. Crayolas. Crayola Artist Loft color pens, watercolor pencils. I did have some room left here in case I needed to add some more, but as of right now, I'm pretty good on that. And then this is completely full with my Statler pens. Um, I have space here and space here I guess I could put like a marker or something I don't know the zip test honestly pretty smooth doesn't seem to be catching on to anything it doesn't feel like I over bulkified it you know to where like you see like the zippers like super expanded I think one really nice feature would have been to have a dual zipper so you can like zip it up from either coming this way or coming that way but yeah honestly it's not the smallest folder in the world as you can tell but this is definitely better than just having um, your things laying around especially if you were to go through and 
label your little like get like a sticker set or something or even just write it with sharpie right here where you can put like Crayola blue black um, green blue and like color pencil statler because then you'd be able to find it even faster because you would coordinate it according to the zipper Right, you guys so everything mentioned in this video and as you guys will see will be um, linked down below for you guys do let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in my next one